Good evening from Epcot. Today we are here for your December 2019 Epcot construction update. Lots has changed since we were here about a month and a half ago. The Fountain of Nations has been completely demolished. Innovations West now has started to be demolished very quickly. And at the front of the park, the new Pin Trader store and camera center is open. So we're going to check everything out. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video though. Make sure to subscribe and turn on those post notifications so you don't miss anything going around the Disney parks and Epcot. And I hope you enjoyed the video. All right, so this is definitely where the most actions have been happening lately. Over at Innovations West, where the Starbucks used to be, Club Cool, Epcot Character Spot. This building, so much has been done just overnight, and this is my first time seeing all this. Probably won't be here for much longer. They are not taking any time. You can see the sunlight even coming through the roof over there. So the roof's completely gone. You can see some of the backside even being taken off from the monorail. But yeah, the only area left is pretty much where the Character Spot entrance used to be, but this won't be up here much longer. It's very quickly being taken apart little by little. And you can see just how fast they're going so they can get construction going on that new festival center. Also, some of the uh, pin central wires are red. So the construction equipment knows not to hit these during the demolition process. There's like a red coated wire around it and then back over there, that's where all the demolition is going on. But yeah, during Epcot International Festival of Holidays, if you are a pass holder, you can get these right over here in between Mouse Gear and Electric Umbrella. Right that might change soon though, because these are going to be under refurbishment soon. So if that changes, I'll let you guys know in the comment section. But yeah, we just did pick these up. And these come apart. Yeah, they do. They're a little bit smaller than normal, but I still like the display. they're like ornaments. Yeah, you can, this is a magnet itself though. The whole display is a magnet. Right, you can either put it like that, yeah, or you can take them out. apart like that. That's cool. Also, if you guys remember, during Food and Wine, they had that temporary stage set up here. Now that stage is gone, and they have planters covering it. I guarantee you that they're probably going to repave it, because back there, there is a lot of dirt from all the wiring and stuff. All right, so we came over to Cosmic Rewind. They pushed out the construction walls again. They pushed them out first time. Now they're even out here. He's going to see if he can get the code. I don't know if that's going to work out, but I hopped up on the sledge, and it doesn't really matter, because I can just look over. And it's still a pretty big mess up here. I used to be able to walk up here, like around that area right there where I just put the magnet, but now they push it out here because they have a lot more work that they're doing. 
So yeah, it looks like a pretty big mess still up there. They did change the color of like the sides and the roof is still open, the front of the building is still open. But yeah, best view is from the monorail if you're looking for this. We found a knot hole in the wall. Literally, you're gonna, Literally, yeah. you guys are gonna laugh when you see how we're recording this. Yeah, so that's another construction look. It is pretty messy, like I said earlier. But yeah, <laughs> let's let's show you how that is, how we're recording that now. <laughs> it's literally a knot hole. Disney magic right there. That's our you. commitment to make sure we bring you the absolute best. <laughs> Over here on the construction walls by the play pavilion, this is the first time there's actually been a piece of concept art. And I haven't seen anybody post a photo on this, so I'm pretty sure it's brand new. But over by the Epcot entrance and where the Fountain of Nations used to be, they just have the Epcot logos. This is the first time I've ever seen construction art like this. So this is awesome to see. You can get a very detailed look at what the Play Pavilion will be like. From here, you can get a better view of the Cosmic Rewind roof. Not really a lot of work there. It does look a little bit cleaner though. And then here's another look at that Play Pavilion concept art. I do like that they are showing concept art now because a lot of your average guests are confused on like what's going on. And then that's the Play Pavilion. I still like calling it Wonders of Life though. Hashtag find Buzzy. So I was looking over at Wonders of Life, AKA Play, and I was like, man, I can see a lot of that structure. And then I just realized they cleared all of those trees. Because if you remember from my first Disney video back in early September, I was saying how they're probably gonna clear the land to put in all those plants like in the concept art. And now all those trees are cleared, which is why you can see the entire dome. So yeah, it's gonna be interesting to see if they put on more trees or just those lower level plants that are, look good when you first walk in. And then there's the Guardian Shield building all the way back there, you can't miss it. It really is crazy how much land they cleared. You can see the entrance, those tiles are right there, the darker ones, that's where you will enter the play pavilion. All right, so I came back over here to where the Space 220 restaurant is going to be, and I wanted to let you guys know that the opening date was projected to be this winter, but the executive chef actually stepped down so now it's expected to open in February of 2020. That's when the Patina Restaurant Group is expecting it to open. They are running the place. And then back here, you can actually see some Imagineers working up there, getting it ready for its opening. All right, one other thing I wanted to show you guys is since I was here last time, the only main difference is that they painted the outside go away green, so it blends into all the surrounding trees and everything. It's a pretty good color. Disney is known to do that. Sorry about how loud Test Track is. Here are those Imagineers working on the entrance, and I'm really excited about the space elevator. It's called the Space 220 Restaurant because you're 220 miles above the Earth. So if that space elevator really feels like you're going up an elevator into space, this restaurant might become a fan favorite really quickly. But yeah, this is projected open in February 2020, and I'm excited to go. Right over here by the entrance to Mission Space, I love the music playing right now. You can see a little bit of the work going on right here. I'm pretty sure this is where you'll walk up. They have this walkway and everything. They have one little construction wall up and then right back through there, you can see some of the scaffolding where those Imagineers are working. But yeah, this is where you'll enter. Wanted to show it to you guys real fast. Another interesting thing is even though the new Cool Wash area and donut box just opened, I guess since food and wine ended, they're closed because you can't get the slushies anymore. It's just really interesting to me how they put all this money into making this new thing with the new product and it's already closed. And then over here, that's where the donut box used to be and you can see that the donut box is gone completely. So. Hopefully this reopens soon, because it's all still here. It's just currently not selling stuff at the moment. All right, so because that new pin traders opened at the front of the park, Pin Central doesn't have pins anymore. As you can see, there's just hats and stuff. This will be closing in January. So for now, they just put up some temporary stuff. But once this closes for good and it gets demolished, you can go up to pin traders at the front of the park. So there's no more pins. They just got some wands and stuff. Buzz Lightyear bubble blower. And then over here, there's some hats. The classic snowman hat and then there's more over here but yeah it looks really weird seeing it without pins all right over here to the right of spaceship earth when you're walking in the park here's where all the pins went this is going to be the permanent home pin traders and the camera center this just opened yesterday december 8th 2019 and they've got merchandise in here newly refurbished it looks really really nice they've got some blue walls and everything for blue roofing my bad. They've got some 2020 merchandise in here, all the pins, but yeah, I'm gonna show you guys everything they've got in here because it just opened. Over here, they've got some coming soon pins. This is the 20th anniversary of Pin Trading Limited Edition Collection right there. And then here, I thought these were D23 Expo exclusives, but I guess they're not. These will be available soon. It's all of the Epco logo ones. I really like all these. But yeah, the displays here are a lot nicer and it's air conditioned, so definitely better in my opinion. 
But yeah, these are all the coming soon ones over here at Pin Traders. Back over here behind the register, this is where all the limited edition pins are being kept. Festival of the Holidays, just releases in general. So if you're looking for limited edition stuff, check the left hand side of the store behind the register. Back here they've got all of the pin trading accessories, the big pins, the pass holder card lanyards, the starter sets, and then the, even down here they've got lanyards. But that's the most amount of big lanyards I've ever seen before. Usually they don't have a lot of those. Down here there's some patched sets and some pins. And then right here they got a display. The display of the store is like really well done, the layout and everything. Here's some more pin starter sets. But yeah, I really like it. And even more lanyards down here. Here's all the limited edition pins on display. They've got a Haunted Mansion one up there. It says Making Spirits Bright. Festival of the Holidays, all that. Princess and the Frog. But yeah, all of them are, are on display here and then you can buy them behind the register. Here's more sections. They got Pirates theme parks and resorts one of the easiest way to tell on the resorts is they did change it now but they all have like the red backing now they do like the white disney parks collection one but some of them still have that red background so that's the easiest way to spot it but i do like that white background better it's much more modern and clean and they got marvel right here some animated features and star wars definitely one of the fan favorites and then over here the last pin area they have mickey and friends holidays and celebrations, what's new, Pixar and Princess. So as you can see, this whole back wall in the store is all pins. But the Pin Central store was very big, so it makes sense that this entire area is full of pins. And it's very easy to see everything, it's very well laid out, and they even have more stuff than just pins, so you can look for pins and other stuff while you're here. All right, everybody, I hope you enjoyed the video. Definitely that new store, the pin store, is great. I really like how it's laid out and everything, and it's even air conditioned. Florida gets so hot all the time, especially during the summer, so it's great that it's indoors. And I might be the only person saying this, but I'm actually happy to see Innovations West going down. I'm very, very excited for this new festival center. I think it's gonna be a lot better than people expect. And if you're interested in seeing a model of the festival center, make sure to check out the Epcot experience. They've got tons of stuff in there about everything coming to Epcot. Make sure to subscribe so you don't miss all the stuff going around the Disney parks and Epcot. And I will see you guys in my next video. Peace.